What is going on guys, Grave here today. Let's talk about the update we received on console for the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to link the patch notes for PlayStation and Xbox down in the description below if you'd like to read over all the details. I'm going to kind of just hit the high points because there's some stuff that within the patch notes that aren't really things that a lot of us that are playing the game are going to notice. Uh, but there are some pretty big things as well within these patch notes. Like I said, if you'd like to read over them in their entirety, they will be linked down in the description. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing they talked about was companions and companion combat and gameplay. And this is some of the most important things, in my opinion, uh, that they kind of talked about within the update. Because there were some issues going on with companions. First of all, they updated the die icon in the companion window of the outfit screen. Companions will now run in front of your character less frequently when your character comes to a stop. Bastion and Miri's non-combat perks are now active while they are active and present. Those non-combat perks were not working properly before today's update on console. Also, they increased the likelihood of companion gear to drop from non-boss enemies. This was There was a likelihood of you getting uh, gear before today's update from a non-boss enemy, but it was very, very slim. They did not give a percentage of how much this has been changed, so we'll kind of have to just hop in and play and wait and see if you're getting more consistent drops from uh, things that are not bosses within the game. Also, companions will no longer loudly mourn the death of your group members, which is kind of uh, funny at the same time when it was first happening, but it is kind of annoying as well because they were very loud just screaming about the, uh, a group member's death, which was kind of uh, odd. But anyway, also, they will no longer see, uh, you will no longer see indicators above the head of a player's companion in your group. They slightly increase the average frequency which you gain rapport from killing enemies that companions do not care for. Also, they increase the minimum cooldown time for companion VO. Uh, Miri now waits to get to know you a little bit better before asking you to help her with her second personal quest. Companion combat level and class skills are now properly synchronized. I was having this issue with Bastion I have all five skills unlocked, of course, and of course they're supposed to go in the order that you have them, you know, slotted in your, uh, you know, your skill slots. But I was having the problem of Bastion casting the fifth skill before he was casting the first skill. So now it should actually go in order properly, one through five. They also, uh, companions will more consistently turn to face their opponent for the initial attack of their ability. I was also noting, uh, noticing this with Bastion. I have one of the taunts, of course, as my first attack. And a lot of times he was running up to the enemy. He was either facing me, facing left or right, and was not taunting the enemy. The enemy was pretty much just running past him. So that hopefully has been fixed as well. When it comes to Master Ritz, the Master Ritz for crafting Blackwood item sets can now be generated. And they also fixed an issue where the Blackwood survey reports were not consumed after you harvested the nodes. They did not uh, talk about any of the issues that were going on with the surveys themselves. I'm sure most of you have noticed if you get an ore survey in Blackwood, a lot of that ore is almost buried under the ground. You can barely see it uh, out of the ground. So I think some of those visual problems are probably going to be fixed eventually, but as of today, they weren't really mentioned. Also, they did some things within the Rock Grove trial throughout some of the different boss fights. Uh, they fixed some of the achievements. Also, they fixed some of the issues of things not showing correctly or not disappearing. Uh, one example they gave, of course, is the creeping eye will now always be removed once it's destroyed. Uh, it was just a lot of fixes, uh, kind of improving overall performance for certain fights. So hopefully the Rock Grove trial will run a little bit smooth, uh, a little bit smoother now that some of these things have been adjusted. Some other things that were fixed today, of course, uh, was with the homes. They improved the accuracy of wall collision for the upper levels of the water edge home, making it easier to hang paintings and wall furnishings. Also, some just general zone and quest fixes. They fixed a number of Mages Guild books and Blackwood that would could spawn underground. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but I found a few Mages Guild books where you can see like the glow, but it was just like it was on top of the ground. But when you went over to it, there was no book there, and it was because the book was spawning under the ground. They also fixed an issue with missing collisions in Deadlands Keep that allow you to escape the world. Now, when it comes to Oblivion Portals, the Fire Behemoths will now always activate and attack player. Uh, the player character once activated you can now revive correctly when fighting the flame atros during the dramora encounter and also the final event will no longer reset instantly if uh, if participants leave the event before destroying the console so keep that in mind if you don't see that uh resetting instantly that is one reason because people are going out too early also some other things they fixed with some of the quests within blackwood there were some issues uh where things weren't 
auto queuing correctly, some other issues where things were spawning within the ground. There was a lot of quest fixes. A, a pretty big chunk of the update today was quest fixes. Also, uh, the chief world boss, I'm sure, over at the toe, uh, the toad tongue war camp. Most of you have noticed a lot of times you're not getting a, a, a finish for that. Once you complete it, you might look on your map and all the other uh, world bosses, the skull will turn white from black. Uh, a lot of times the the chief uh, toad tongue war camp, man, that's hard to say, uh, world boss was not showing completion uh, when he was defeated. Now that has been fixed, so it should reset him properly because a lot of times it was taking him a really long time to spawn but also it was not giving you the uh the finish for it so hopefully that has been fixed a lot of people were saying you had to kill him in a certain spot but i don't think that was ever necessarily the case i think it was always just bugged out so hopefully today when we get on after the uh, maintenance is up we can try this world boss out and make sure that it does work correctly of course they fixed a few small things in every zone like they do with every update uh, all the other zones in the game, of course, just some small uh, issues and things of that nature. Uh, some other things they talked about today was combat and abilities within this update. Uh, the uh, issue when blocking attacks could appear desync and cost charging more stamina than intended has been fixed. So that block bug should be uh, gone now. Thank goodness, because the other day when I tanked, that was absolutely horrible. Uh, fixed an issue where your active weapon bar did not persist through the load screen and fixed an issue where effects from Miri's lifesteal and magic steel could ignore their cooldowns in some cases. Uh, for the uh, Dragon Knight class, the Draconic Power uh, Elder Dragon fixed an issue where the passive was not properly applying its range. Uh, also for the Sorcerer for Dark Magic, Negate Magic, they fixed an issue where the Ultimate and Morphs uh, failed to target most areas of effect. Uh, Restoring Light for the temp uh, Templar in the Rune Focus skill fixed an issue where the ability and Morphs heal could require you to exit and re-enter the area. Also, the Ledger Main World uh, skill line, they fixed an issue where performing justice actions would not grant Ledger Main progress. Also, some just general fixes uh, that could help with crashes in-game. I know a lot of people have been reporting a lot of crashes since the Blackwood chapter, blue screens, that kind of thing. Also, some audio and UI fixes within the Crown Store. Uh, some other things going on with housing. Now, when it comes to Endeavors, the one thing they did talk about was completing a survey report when you have an endeavor to complete survey reports will now fulfill the correct amount one regardless of the survey reported completed. Also some miscellaneous things they fixed issues where the intro video would not play smoothly fixed in a rare issue where you could cause the game to freeze when changing zones. I have had that issue as of late here on PS4. I would change zones of course I get that unusually long loading time and the game would just completely freeze up and I'd have to close the application here on PS4 to get it to work again. Anyway, guys, like I said, if you want to read over every single detail about this uh, update here on console today, the Xbox and PlayStation patch notes are listed down in the description. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've seen any other bugs in game that they addressed today that were not fixed properly. Of course, you always can, you know, uh, get on the forums or send something on uh, Twitter to the team over at Zoss. If you're still seeing bugs that are persistent, that are supposed to be fixed, and they'll usually respond to you. Or, you know, give you kind of some kind of info if they're working on it still or something like that. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.